What's up YouTube, it's Andrew or Preeminent Designs HD and today I'm coming at you guys with another Cinema 4D tutorial. Now today in Cinema 4D I'll be showing you guys how to make realistic looking grass in Cinema 4D. Now that's pretty self-explanatory so I'm just going to jump right into it. So when you open up Cinema 4D is what we're going to do is we're going to want to lay down a basic cube by going up here to this cube and just simply clicking on it. And then when you're selected on the cube over here you guys are going to come down to your guys' segments X, Y, and Z. And we're going to make these all 50. It's a nice even number. All right. And then is what we're going to do is we're going to basically just stretch it out. So we're just going to stretch it out about like that and about like that. And then you guys are going to want to take the thickness way down because this is where our grass is going to be lying on. And this is basically going to be our dirt. All right. And then we're going to come over here and we're going to make a new color. And we're just going to double click on this color. And uh, we're going to go to our texture and click on that and go to gradient. And then this black and white gradient uh, tool right here is what we're going to open up. Is we're going to come in here and we're going to change the black color to a darkish brownish like so. And we're going to come over here to the white and make it also a darkish brownish color. And we're going to right click on here and double knots and we're going to basically just get rid of one of those colors and uh, as what we want to do is from type 2DU we're going to change the type 2DU to 2DV and then we're going to change this middle color to about a light brownish uh, kind of about there alright and then we're going to bring these so they're faded in a little bit more into the middle yeah basically like that and then you guys are going to want to come down here from the turbulence and you guys are going to want to change that to a hundred percent and then the octaves to about we'll say about a four we'll just go four alright and then once you're done with that you can X out of that and just throw that on here so now if we uh, render that out it looks pretty it looks like dirt it looks okay um, uh, this is not too important. It's really uh, what's going to be coming up next. So as what we're going to do is we're going to come over here and select on our cube and we're going to just press C and that's going to be making it an edible um, object. And now we're going to come over here to structure and then we're going to go down to magnet. And basically is what is going to happen is this is going to come up and basically is what we're going to do is if we just click and pull up, it'll um, pull our cube up. So now we're just going to make a bunch of little indentions on this cube sort of like grass is you know how it's all bumpy and stuff and we're just going to kind of mess around with it until it looks good um, there's really no set number of what it should look like so just keep messing around with it until you guys um, find your liking uh, for the sake of this tutorial purposes I'm just gonna make mine about that alright and then is what we're going to come over here uh, we're going to click on this far right button which is going to show us all of our angles and basically is what we're going to do is we're going to go to tools and we're going to come down here to polygons and then we're going to go to selection and rectangle selection and then as basically is what you want to do is you just want to come over here to the top view and you guys are just going to want to click like that and highlight the whole thing and that'll highlight the top and then if you guys are in Cinema 4D 12, which I'm in, you just come over here to Stimulation, go to Hair Objects, and Fur. All right, now after we're done with that, we can just come back here to this view. So just press this button on this one, and this will come for our 3D perspective. And then this is what we want to do while we're selected on the fur, is we want to come down here to the count, and we're going to make it about 40,000. All right and actually I might turn that down to about 30 yeah 30 30 should look a little bit nicer now after we add all that fur on it's gonna come up with a new material down here it's gonna say fur material and we're just gonna double click on that and for the first color it's gonna be a bit of a dark greenish color like so and then this one over here on um, this sort of light brownish kinda of cayenne color uh, we're just gonna turn that to a really light green like so 
All right, and after we're done with that, we can just press our render button, and it'll take a moment or two. And then once it renders out, um, you know, you have pretty realistic looking grass. So, um, and then is what you can, guys can do is to make it even look more realistic is you guys can just come up here to this light button, zoom out a little bit, drag up this light to about right there. And then is what you guys are going to want to do is come down to shadow and turn on shadows map soft. And then if we zoom in on this a little bit more like that, and we just press our render button again, you guys will see that it looks um, pretty realistic and it looks really nice. So guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this Cinema 4D tutorial, guys. If you guys liked the tutorial, please thumb up this video. It helps so much, guys. And if you guys learned something new, come on, guys. Drop a comment in that comment section below and let me know what you guys thought and you guys' feedback is on this. So guys, until next time, guys, I'm Andrew, or pre Designs HD, where I make quality GFX for free and I make your visions a reality.